Hello, Year 9. My name is Mrs Tickner and I'm one of the business studies teachers at Wangels College and I'm here today to talk you through some of the business studies options that are available to you. So the biggest question that you're probably asking yourself is why should I study business? Well, for me and the rest of our department, we love business because it's interesting and can really help you get jobs in the future. There's always something in the news that's relevant to you um, and to us and we're always learning and that's what makes it interesting because it's so relevant to today. There's rarely just one answer um, in business too, which is something I particularly like. It's always good to be able to articulate and argue your points really effectively and very few businesses do exactly the same thing. And they have different reasons why they're successful and being able to argue that being able to suggest ways in which businesses could be successful is a key skill that we use in business studies so there's never really one answer unless it's something like finance the other thing about business is it teaches us business skills and perhaps more importantly life skills not just business theory so we're learning how to problem solve and we're learning how to show initiative and to think outside the box as well. And all of that, the knowledge, the skills together, that makes a winning combination which prepares students for the future. So whatever you decide to do in the future, whether it be an apprenticeship, a degree, um, running your own business even, this course can help you with that. So on the previous slide, I was saying about how business is really relevant to things today. And there's so much you can watch on TV that show businesses in action. Some of the examples that you might be familiar with are Dragon's Den, The Apprentice, which comes back to our screens after a two year break, and Inside the Factory, which I absolutely love. The 9 to 5 series with Stacey Julie is also a good one to watch. Then, if you fancy something a little bit different, there's lots of documentaries like Dispatches and Panorama that you could watch too. There's many films and books as well, all about business studies. Um, it's really interesting if you've got the time to have a little look. So you might be asking yourself, well, what does business studies actually involve? Well, most business studies course follow a similar format. We start off with business activity, where we find out about the needs and wants of customers, what businesses are and how they're organised, whether they're owned by individuals or whether they're owned by lots and lots of different shareholders. We also find out about how businesses add value and make us interested in the product. That's where marketing comes in. Marketing is all about getting the customers to find out and know about our product through advertising and different promotions, as well as finding out about our customers through market research. The third topic we'll do in year 10 is people. People is all about how, how businesses recruit people, how many people they need, why they might need them, as well as the training and the continued professional development that they're given. Operations is a topic for year 11, and that's about not only making the product, so production, but the actual operations of the business. How do they find their suppliers? What do they need to do in terms of getting their products once it's made to the customers? That kind of thing. Finance is all about the money within a business. So how does a business know it's made a profit? Um, what uh, pieces of equipment should they invest in? Why should they invest in them? How much money will they get back for that investment? That kind of thing. And finally, the last topic that we'll look at is the influences on business. This looks at the wider world, the economy, both in terms of our UK economy, but also the global economy as well and globalisation. It's also a topic where we consider environmental issues and ethics, things that businesses should do um, and things that the businesses are required to do in terms of the legislation, the laws. Finally, everything is kind of considered and how it all interrelates to each other. So things like marketing, in order to have promotion, to have advertising, we need to have finance on board because they'll have to pay for it. So I talked a minute ago about skills development and it's actually been estimated that 40% of graduate vacancies don't even ask for a specific degree subject. So studying business helps to give you that competitive edge because it develops a range of skills, transferable skills that you can take from one job to a next that can really get you that job that you really want. So some of the skills that we develop in business, we develop analytical ability, that ability to look at a problem and consider, well, what happens if this happens? 
What if this happens? How might that impact it? We develop communication skills and presentation skills. And in fact, in one of the courses that we offer, um, part of your assessed work is a presentation. We have goal setting, challenging yourself to, to get to certain targets, developing leadership skills. Perhaps you might take a leading role in some group work or an enterprise activity. Numeracy, particularly with the finance, but in other areas of business too, like marketing and even human resources, knowing how many staff you, you need to have in a particular time or for a particular role. Problem solving, very, very important and uh, a real, real critical element of business studies. Teamwork, those classes that I've had that have been the most successful have really worked together to make progress and, and do great learning and time management. Yeah, it's not easy in the GCSE when you've got around about a mark a minute. So that ability to manage your time is a skill that we really hone in on in our courses. So a few key points about the GCSE that we offer at Wangels. Well, it's an ideal preparation for A-levels, apprenticeship, or actually it's an ideal preparation for work too. It focuses on business skills as well as that theory and it's assessed by exam at the end of the course, like many other of your GCSE qualifications. We grade the qualification using the nine to one system. It is worth noting though, that students will be required to have a flight path of four to nine in order to take this course. So in terms of next steps, business studies can lead to a huge range of careers, both because of the knowledge that you've gained, but also the skills that you've developed. You might work in childcare or you might work in customer service, but the skills that you develop in business can help you in that. Prior to becoming a teacher, I worked as a retail manager and the skills that I learnt in terms of customer service skills, I've transferred into being a teacher and in terms of behaviour management. So here are just a short list of some of the jobs that you might go on to. A number of my students in the past have gone into accountancy and banking, some financial services. I told you myself that I came from retail management or perhaps people go into general management, human resources, personnel, management consultancy, public relations, sales, marketing, advertising, and as I said, running your own business are all possible career opportunities from studying business itself. So I think that wraps up everything I wanted to say about business at Wangels. But if you do have any questions or concerns or you want to ask anything, please feel free to contact us on business at wangels.wokingham.school.uk. We look forward to seeing you, uh, hopefully, in uh, September next year and hearing from you maybe beforehand. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation.